Ladies and gents, the time has come. We are on our way to get the new Fox. We gotta load up the whole family to do this. So uh, anyway, my wife's gonna drive me down. Oh, no, my wife's not gonna drive me down. She's in the passenger seat. Guess I'm driving down there. Okay, I thought you were driving. <laughs> Say hi guys. guys here she is the newest addition <laughs> my kids are here in their pajamas it made it it's filthy but here's the new ride loving this all right anyway I'll take you guys for a little drive here and uh, tell you how she goes all right, first fire. <laughs> what do you think? Awesome. Holy Dinah. Dinah, it has your little race car sign. Just like the other one, yeah. Nothing new added? 
Well, it's official. The car has arrived home. Here we are guys, the debut. So, 1991 GT convertible. I've mentioned in previous videos, but I'll mention again, this is a 100% stock car, other than the car has been painted once and it has a new top on it. Got the fender tags, the doors have the tags, everything has the Ford tags on it. Now it's absolutely disgusting. One, because it rained on the way home, but it was filthy when I got it. This thing's been on, well, pretty much a 2,500 mile trip for the last week and a half. Stock ponies. Now the top's down, and the reason being is my kids have never been in a convertible before, so they wanted to drop the top, so we did. Um, issues to work through. So uh, the power steering rack has some issues with it, so we're going to get that changed out. I have an airbag light that's flashing. So we're going to hook the uh, scanner up and see if we can figure out what's going on there. Horn doesn't work. That's going to take some farting around because we're going to need that for um, inspection purposes. But I'm really, I wish I could give you guys, well, I wanted this to be as fresh as possible. And I mean, this is literally minutes after I pulled it into the garage here. So we'll get her all cleaned up and see what we're dealing with here. But uh, I think it looks pretty good. now. Obviously, we've got some cleaning to do, and the interior needs a little bit of love. But overall, I mean, I think with a lick and a promise, we got a real nice keeper here. So, yeah, it's crazy to see the uh, stock wheels on this. <laughs> Look at the, I mean, the width of these wheels from the factory is just ridiculous and how they stick in like they do, it's uh, it's crazy. But yeah, super clean car, I mean outside of the filth on it. And we need a good detail under the hood. But yeah, just wild. I mean it's been well over 20 years since I've seen my car look like this under the hood. Pretty crazy. Now it does have the stock antenna, it was just removed for transportation purposes. The old uh, two and a half footer. Yeah, lots of, uh, lots of dust to be tidied. But you know what, I don't mind cleaning. Trim needs to freshen up. Um, I've never messed around with a convertible top before, but it needs adjusting, so I'm gonna be learning on this girl. But yeah, here it is guys. The big reveal. All right, so now I've promised everybody a bit of the background story and now I'm just going off of the story that I've received from the previous owners. I have no reason to believe that uh, this isn't the truth and that they've, because uh, they, they sold me a car essentially other than pictures and videos sight unseen and it's everything that they uh, said it was gonna be so I've got no reason not to believe them. But the original owner of this car, from what I understand, was Miss Arkansas 1991. She was, I believe, given the car as a gift for winning the pageant. And now I'm trying to actually get a hold of this gal. Um, I've reached out to her on Instagram. I've reached out to her through my wife's Facebook. I mean, I don't know, maybe she's blocked me because she thinks I'm an absolute creepy lunatic, but uh, if there's anyone that sees this video that knows this gal, please let her know I'm trying to get a hold of her because I think what a wicked story it would be to reconnect with her and say, look, I got your car. It just got its Canadian citizenship. This thing's got a pretty neat background story. So um, anyway, that was the original owner. And then from what I understand, it went to auction. It was bought by a gal's father. 
and uh, gifted for, I think it was a 16th birthday gift. And as it turns out, the gal didn't know how to drive stick or didn't feel very comfortable driving stick. So the car sat for many, many years. And now how it got the respray is I guess, well, it spent its life in the sunny uh, Southern states and was starting to fade. Um, must have spent a lot of its life outside. And uh, the gal that had the car gifted to her for her birthday was dating a fella that uh, his family owned a body shop. And the boss, you know, they could obviously respray the car for, for relatively cheap and install a new top. So that was where the respray and the top came from. But outside of that, as I've shown you, I mean, this car is bone stock, right down to every last bolt. Uh, no accidents whatsoever. Uh, the car's never been dinged up. And uh, here it sits. So I get a little piece of history from 1991 with actually a really neat background history. And then for those of you that have followed along, what I'm thinking about doing with this car is obviously cleaning it up and, and making it right. And then uh, my mom is actually retiring this year. So I got a video, I'll try and link it up here. But uh, for those of you that haven't seen the video, my mom getting out in my Fox and uh, working it over a little bit, blowing some of the carbon out of it. Um, I'm gonna gift this car to her. So, pretty neat stuff to come. Uh, anyway guys, I'll probably just leave this video at that. Uh, lots to come with this. I mean, I think one of the neatest parts about getting a project like this is for any of you watching that either already have a Fox and you're looking to do some stuff to it and or those that are just getting one and uh, wondering where to start, this is gonna be a great place to follow along and uh, see how I do things. So anyway, lots of that to come. But uh, I'll cut her off here, guys. Thanks very much for watching. Um, hope all of you that have been waiting to see this car as excited as I am and lots of cool stuff to come. So stay tuned. I'll catch you on the next one, guys. Take care. Bye for now.